There is no quicker shorthand for self-care than doing a facial mask. You see examples of this in the movies. You see it on sitcoms, on reality television, and all over your Instagram feed. But with so many masks on the market, how do you know which one to choose? And what does a facial mask really do for your skin? This is a facial mask I'm wearing to make me look pretty. Gee, Mom, I thought you looked prettier without it. <laughs> Tribe. I'm Cheryl Kramer Kay and welcome to my bathroom. We are here this week because I don't have a special beauty guest expert. Everybody in New York City is at the beach right now except for me apparently. So today we're going to talk about facial masks. They are certainly ubiquitous but why do you want one? And the answer is a mask is something that's designed to give your skin a boost in whatever way you need. So if you are oily, it can remove those excess oils. If you are dry, it will give you hydration. If you are tired, it can give you luminosity. I am right now oily, dry, and tired, so I could use a mask. However, I want to make it perfectly clear right up front that I don't think a mask is a must. It's a pleasure. It's a pampering experience and it will indeed give you a boost, but it's not going to have long lasting effects. This is often that classic clay mask. Clay is a great ingredient for a purifying mask because Clays act almost like magnets and they draw out the dirt, the oil, the impurities from your skin. Some of the other terrific ingredients that you will find in a purifying mask are charcoal. Charcoal, again, acts in a very similar way to clay. It draws out those impurities. And you also want to look for things that have anti-acne or anti-oil ingredients like tea tree oil or salicylic acid or willow bark extract which is a form of salicylic acid so the one on my face right now is the emma hardy oh my god it's got all the names purifying detox clay mask this pretty much says everything you need um, it's also going to smell really wonderful because emma hardy is a british esthetician and everything she makes smells wonderful and it's also a clean green product um, the next mask I would recommend is Olay Pore Detox. This is their black charcoal. And this, you can just draw it on wherever you want it. Hmm, look like a football player. And this one from the body shop it gives you it has tea tree in it and it lets you have a little bit of that diy moment so it has um it has this powder that you mix with water and you create your own mask now you will notice that i had initially only put the mask right here across my forehead down my nose and on my chin this is known as the t-zone it forms a t and that's where most people tend to hold their oil hey so just a light layer? Yeah, it's just here and there. <laughs> These are masks that are designed to give your skin a rush of moisture when you're feeling really dry. They are typically gel-based. They might have soothing ingredients in them like mineral water or aloe or cucumber. This one is from Julep and so cute. Um, but here's the thing, I have to put these on because it's very hard to read the label. Um, it has glycerin. This is the Vichy Mineral Mask. And oh my God, it's so beautiful, right? Vichy is all about mineral spring water that has lots of nutrients and minerals for your skin. And we have one from Semois, oh, cucumber and aloe gel facial mask. 
So this is what you want on a really hot day. Maybe you've been at the beach or you've been outside and you've got windburn in the winter time. This is something that is going to soothe your skin and give it its hydration back. These are the ones that I tend to use the most. They're the ones that make you look like you've had some sleep even if you haven't. So they're typically a combination of hydration and exfoliation. Um, the one that I am using actually does its brightening in a somewhat different way. This is the Tula Kefir mask. You can see it has a little bit of that like, hmm, hmm, unicorn effect. It has like a little radiance, iridescence to the mask itself. So when you take it off, you leave a little bit on and you still get that radiant boost. Next is La Puerta Essentials. If you watch my Rancho La Puerta facials video, you would know that this is my happy place, Rancho La Puerta, and this mask is divine. It uses pomegranate enzymes to exfoliate off the surface skin cells that are dead and make your skin look dull. And this is the mask that all of the celebrities use before they hit the red carpet. This is the Talika Bioenzymes Brightening Mask. And this one has niacinamide in it, and that is a terrific anti-aging ingredient that's going to bring a lot of um, circulation to the skin, and it's going to help make it look brighter and more radiant and more hydrated. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is kind of an advanced technique in masks, but I think you guys can handle it. It's called multi-masking, and that's using a different face mask for different parts of your face, depending on what it needs. So for example, my nose is oily and my pores are clogged. I'm using a purifying or detox mask here. This is the clay or the charcoal. Then on my forehead, my skin is kind of dull, it's a little bit rough. That's where I'm going to use my brightening mask. That's the ones that exfoliate and hydrate. And on my cheeks, they're just so ugh, dry and raw. And that's where I'm going to use my soothing hydrating mask. That's things like cucumber, aloe. Maybe it's all the creams, but that just made sense, girlfriends. <laughs> and I have to say, I know I look like a crazy person. Yeah, laugh all you want, but in 10 minutes, we're gonna have younger looking skin. Yeah. <laughs>